All right, so I have the new module installed. I got a new 20 amp fuse, like a decent 20 amp fuse installed. And um, I'm gonna go ahead and turn the key on and we'll see what happens. And there we go. See if it's see if it turns over. All right, very cool. So, uh, just for kicks, I want to do a um, an amperage measurement at of uh, the same wire, and um, we'll see what we end up with. So. We'll go to 40 amps and clip it on. All right. Okay. And we are upside down. So let's spin it around. All right, here we go. All right, right now with the key on, we have a max of 5 amps. Um. Let me reduce my scales here. Let's go to a 40 amp scale. Alright, let's turn our key off. Turn it on again. Alright, hold on. Oh, we are. Yeah, well, no, wait, I had it right the first time. Okay. Alright. Let's, uh,. Let's refresh. Let's refresh. Okay, let's turn the key off. Back on again. We had a max of 16 amps. All right, let's stop this. Go back. I'll turn the key off. And we'll go back in our little buffer. Ooh, right there. When I turned the key on with the bad amp hem, um, I had a peak. I want to say of like 40 amps or something to that effect. Here when I turn the key on, cursor 2, I got about 16 amps. Let me show you where cursor 2 is. Right when I shut that, get, turn that guy on. And there it is at 16 amps. And we have a consistent you know, about 5 amps of current flow. So that's what a known good looks like no more than five amps while it's on and uh, we have our pulsing on and off you know which we saw with the uh, with the known bad but uh, it did not look like this so this is what a known good is looking like this makes me feel good about my decision on this thing and uh, hopefully it helps somebody out with making this expensive call I mean on this machine this was about $800 I want to say about a good guess, and for an ATV, $800 is a, uh, a big decision on a computer, and that's definitely not something I want to replace based on a guess. So, thanks for watching, and uh, see you around.